There are three distinct grout techniques, each with their own unique look. Dry stack joints, standard joints, and over grout joints. These three joint finishes play a major role when it comes to finishing a job that has the look and feel of real stone. Dry stack joints are accomplished by dry fitting each stone prior to installation. Each piece is laid with virtually no joint. Even though you've used mortar to set the stone to the surface, when complete, the finished look will appear as though no mortar was used to install the stone. A standard joint is achieved by laying each stone roughly one finger width apart from each other. Then a grout bag is used to fill the joints with mortar, forcing grout into any voids. The tip of the grout bag should be cut to accommodate the size of the joints. The mortar should be right between being too wet and too dry. Overgrout joints have become a popular way to achieve an old world look. The grout overlaps the face of the stone, widening the joints and making them very irregular. It's important that the mortar be applied without air pockets and filled completely to the substrate. After grouting the joints, check to see if your mortar is ready before striking. The normal wait time is about 30 to 60 minutes. Push your finger into the mortar. It should be firm, yet give way. This is a good indication you are ready to strike the mortar and whisk away the debris. Use a wooden or metal striking tool to rake out excess mortar to the desired depth, while at the same time forcing mortar into the joints to seal the stone edges. Use a whisk broom to smooth and clean away loose mortar from the joints and stone face. Mortar color additives can be used to enhance the look of the stone. They should be pre-mixed with the water prior to mixing into the mortar. This will allow for a consistent color blend. The grout techniques and color additives can be just as important as laying the stone. 